Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Desert Have a Garden. Look at this mess. So I have this garden bed here and it became overgrown with grapevines that are above it. And so this area of the garden became largely neglected. And as you can see, it has been ravaged by um, what look like worms in the kohlrabi back here. The radish have gone to flower and seed, and the spinach was devoured by rabbits. So it's, it's quite a mess here, but I trimmed the grapevine back this morning, and actually I had planted a couple of squash plants over here in the corner where it wasn't so overgrown, but I have intentions of planting some more at those other water outlets as well as over here where the remainder of the winter garden items are. So you can see this kohlrabi, it was some sort of a worm. Oh, there it is right there. See the inchworm? So these little guys, I just smash them, sorry. Um, these little guys, and look here. You see these aphids? That leaf is just covered in aphids. Um, so obviously we have a pest problem over here that has gotten a little out of control. I'm going to pull out this kohlrabi because it is ready to harvest. Um, you can see here and simply just pull them out. Um, oftentimes, I'll just clip them at the root and leave the root in there, but that one came out quite easy. So these are beautiful kohlrabi, and as I did in a previous video, I peel them and then you can eat them however you like. I like to make like french fries out of them or coleslaw, and they are just really delicious to me. So I'm going to get, oh goodness, look how long this radish stem is. It's just huge and let's see what the radish is doing down here. So it didn't make a huge radish but it still has a good little radish there. Um, another one didn't make anything at all and let's see this one. That's a good sized radish there. Look at that. I'm going to go through here and clean all this up. Get the kohlrabi pulled get rid of these pests. I'll probably go through and spray um, some neem oil, which helps with like the white flies and those kind of things, the, the flying insects that are real small. Um, it also helps with the uh, aphids, though we do have a bunch of ladybugs hanging out in the garden right now. So I can tell why they have food. I will also spray with um, with some BT, which helps with the soft body worms, because I don't want um, those to get into an issue out here with our other plants, because I'm just now starting all of my, that's a good size one, all of my spring planting, transplanting tomatoes and all that, and I actually found a tomato horned worm on one of the tomato plants this morning, and I'd really rather that not get out of control, because I already have tons of tomatoes showing up on my tomato plant, which is really cool. There's a ladybug now. There's definitely plenty of food for them. I got a pretty good pull out of these um, kohlrabi, so there's quite a bit. There's some that are really quite small, um, not going to be much to eat there, but there's definitely some good sized kohlrabi. Plus I had to get those insects out. And um, a couple more radishes. We've been harvesting tons of radishes all year, so that's really been a good crop for us here. So over here in the garden, it gave a little bit of space to my squash plants. I got everything pulled out. I'm going to work the soil a little bit before I go ahead and plant some new plants over here. I couldn't possibly finish my video without showing you some tomatoes because I told you there's tomatoes on the tomato vine and I'm always excited about tomatoes. So this vine in particular is covered with 
lots and lots of tomatoes. This is the atomic grape variety. So they will turn a great shade of purplish with some orange in there and some yellow. They're just a really vibrant tomato. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, in the future, I'm gonna try and keep up on my little bed over there a little bit better, prevent bugs uh, from taking over and um, keep the grapevine a little bit more orderly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more updates in the future.